What is going on, everyone? Commodore Les here today brings you guys my live reaction of Kaguya Sama Love is War manga chapter 262. Now, the chapter is out. We are here today to read the latest installment of Aka Kasaka's masterpiece. We're finally back from the whole Golden Week break. We can sit down. We can see now, hopefully, order being restored. The balance has been brought back to where it needs to be at the very pinnacle. Miyuki, Kaguya arms together embrace the love is sensational we're in a good place man after the events of what's been going on with this current arc and i have to say the final arc of kagasama has really delivered for me in so many areas from the final pieces being put in for the characters that we've been following since the very beginning to where we are now but most importantly the relationship between miyuki and kaguya the lengths that they've gone to to cement the relationship that they had going from the games and all that at the very beginning to where it is now. I love to see it. And obviously right now the other worry I have is that Kage after embracing Miyuki, they're kind of dangling on the goddamn ladder and stuff going up the plane. And hopefully Father Shogane doesn't take that as a sign to, to start going because I'll be very worried. But we still have a little bit more groundwork to go through. I know the stuff with the Shijo family is a big thing that was in the talks with Oko and all that so i don't know how much longer we have honest to god i i would be shocked and not shocked at the same time if akasaka decides you know next week we're nearing the course of the conclusion of the story all that i honestly still feel like it's going to end this year based on how much i think could be left which isn't so much now but i think we need to still see the groundwork to the finale that awaits us man so let us see what's going on this week. Let's get into it, man. Chapter 262. Kaguya-sama. Here we go. All right. And they're all back in the school. All right. So we're back in the home field. We're away from uh, Bald FC. We're in a good place right now. This is where we need to be. Okay? This is where we should be. I know we don't have too much time, too, because Miyuki's going off to America and stuff, which I don't know why I had to remember that, because now I'm in pain. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why. Back to the usual. Man, we've really been through a lot. And in the end, the student council room is where I feel most at home. Chapter 262, Kagesama wants to return. Okay. So what we're seeing here is uh, Miyuki, Chika, Ishigami, and then uh, Ino who are all there. And I assume for now, Kage is not there at the moment. So I guess she's going to be coming up after. The most important thing is that we all made it back safe and sound. The whole experience was absolutely nerve-wracking. I mean, you can tell. I mean, for Ino, it was tough because she had to deal with the Yakuza dudes and stuff. But then, obviously, the other things that were going on. Ishigami still, that moment where he was stopping uh, Oko from throwing, uh, putting his hands on Kaguya. Still one of my favorite moments. Not just of the arc, but in the series. Like, that's, you know, that's, even if you aren't related by blood, like, just Ishigami being, like, the, the brother s kind of thing like the actual being a sibling in a way to kaguya just just go man as for the rest of what happened that day oh please tell me no heartbreak please no heartbreak after a discussion between all four siblings Ganon Shinomiya's last will testament was destroyed. Unio's opposition to the other two played a huge role in the negotiations. Looking back on it, though, I have to agree with the actions he took. After all, in order to effectively negotiate, you need leverage. So we've seen the conversation between the siblings and stuff all together here. Look at the smile! She knows! She's, she's leading in negotiations! She's about to get the salary! This is what it is! We're, we're, look, I blame football manager for a lot of the things you're going to be hearing now in the course of time and stuff. But literally, she went in negotiations with the club. They were able to agree on the salary, the bonuses, all that. And she's smiling because she knows she's getting the deal that she wants. Ultimately, everything he did was necessary to ensure Kaguya's safety. Okay, so... I don't have to have uh, second thoughts on Unio at the very least. So he's still it's in a better better light than he was uh, going from class trip and stuff. So fair play. And I'm sure that all Unio really wanted was to make sure Kaguya understood that. Well played. He just couldn't let himself be more straightforward about it, which is 
understandable because you know even myself as a sibling too i'm not straightforward enough when i go very roundabout in certain ways and stuff but i definitely feel where o'neill's coming from so as for said to you um we ended up deciding not to go public with the info we had on him well if you did then he would have been canceled completely and the wouldn't be able to walk in the public ever again. Like, if all that stuff that he was doing was literally leaked, that Eno and them were about to <laughs> put him on a shirt, like, it would have been curtains. So no shots uh, that was going to be put up because it would have been his demise. Looking forward a bit. I think, you know, <laughs> looking forward a bit. I think it'd be more prudent of us to keep it on the table as an option. After all, the mere threat of leaking that info should be enough to keep him in check. See, blackmail! This is how you do things. I'm proud of you, though. I'm proud. Look, look, look at that. And so that was that. His history of wild, reckless nights on the town all stem from his own lack of personal responsibility. A proper sense of responsibility comes from having something you don't want to lose. So if he could get himself a proper job or a high-ranking position, or maybe even... Then there's the eldest brother, Oko. If only he could trust in his siblings and learn to start working through their problems together, then maybe he could also learn to leave his stubborn, outdated way of thinking behind too. Yeah, I mean, again, a lot of the stuff comes down from the backgrounds and stuff and how they were raised and everything. But at the end of the day, though, so these are your decisions that cause a lot of the problems and you're spearheading a lot of these things. So with Oko, it's like, it's very tough for me to go ahead and be like, well, I, I get where he's coming from and stuff, but like, nah, he, he's bald and he's the enemy. So him losing is all I needed. Then again, perhaps leaving the peace negotiations in Kaguya's hands was a first step in that direction. Speaking of Kaguya, she jumped directly into her preparations for negotiations with the Shijo family. Okay, okay, so this is what we're seeing right now from, uh, I guess, they off the plane and everything. So Father Shargani uh, didn't swing him around and everything. So we're, we're going on that front. Is there anything we can do to help? It's okay. I'll be fine. You see Hayasaka there in the back? Just believe in me and wait. Yo. I love the confidence, though. I love the confidence in her. Like, if this was her of, like, the very beginning of the story and stuff, there's no chance she was going to be doing any of this. But seeing that determination in her face, the belief that now that she has things in her own control, now she's the negotiator. She was being negotiated. Now she's the negotiator. Lovely. If Kaga herself tells, says so, then I'm sure things will turn out fine. All we can do is believe in her and wait. And I'm sure she'll be back soon. Besides, we have Maki-san and Mikado-kun helping out on the Shijo side of things too. No doubt the two of them will work out something for us. Yeah, I'm sure she'll be back any minute now. And then, but in the meantime, now might be our only chance. Our only chance. That's right. Now is the perfect time to do all the things we normally can do with Kaguya-san around. <laughs> Oh God! What does she have? What do you have planned? <laughs> Things we can't do while Shinomiya Senpai is around. What exactly are you thinking? Mm, let's. See. What? <laughs> there is no way. This girl is so stupid, but I love her. <laughs> What what upbringing like, nah, bro. We need a spinoff series so I can understand like how the Fujiwara family became the way they are. Cause there is no way. She goes, hmm, let's see. How about the penis samurai game? What is wrong with her? Like, ah, oh, don't give me images, bro. Like, nah, this woman, she's insane. She's clinically insane and needs help. The penis samurai game, and then. The narrator going in. I can already hear his voice, and I still gotta watch the episode afterwards for this week. The Penis Samurai Game. Like many other elimination type party games, it's commonly used in Japan as a drinking game. Or Japan, I'm telling you right now, we I would love to visit, but when I'm seeing stuff like this, man, I, I have to think about it. Although it's a simple game that doesn't require anything to play, it could be deceptively challenging. 
The rules are simple. One player points at another and shouts one of several words. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, this is... <laughs> what a weirdo. I swear to God. Like, winner, samurai. But like, yeah, like, I'm not gonna... I'm not... No. <laughs> we're, not, we're not saying these words until it's the characters themselves saying it. The player that gets pointed to has to shout the proper response uh, word. Then the process repeats. Oh, God. And anyone who messes up or hesitates is out. Yeah, like, <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> and if anyone shouts penis samurai, everyone stands up and shouts penis samurai together. Look at you, you eat how she's just like, what is wrong with you? What kind of messed up game is that? Look at her with the gum and everything, bro, stop it. I'm on the public morals committee. Even if Shinomiya Senpai is around right now, I am. And I refuse to allow such a game. What if I gave you this point? <laughs> Come on, stop this. <laughs> I can suck it, bro. You're wildin'. Fine, just this one. So for the pudding. And look at look at Shigami. What happened to your morals? <laughs> oh god. I mean, to be fair though, she was about to see Ishigami in the flesh until Kage ruined it. So fair play though. She's getting a second chance at life. If Kage's son were here. And we'd never hear the end of it from her. Right now, we don't want we don't have to worry about that. In fact, that underlying sense of guilt only adds to the frill. <laughs> Just the thought of what she do is enough to get you excited, isn't it? Look at <laughs> Kibuki and Nishigami. They're just so tired of this girl, bro. In any case, those are the rules of the game, and seeing as those are the rules, I don't have to worry about presenting myself as a proper lady like I normally do. If I speak. <laughs> Alright. Now I'm allowed to shout wiener to my heart's content. Whether it's penis or penis samurai. It doesn't matter. After all, rules are rules. Let's all turn off our brains and shout wiener together. After wiener, you keep going. But after penis, you get you gotta shout schlong. This, bro, I... <laughs> Whoever ends up marrying her... Will have wealth beyond their, wor their wildest dreams. Because, you know... Oh, Great Oyaji, I should say. You know, because the whole lineage is up with the Prime Minister thing and everything. So she's got money at the end of the day. But you walk in public, you have to pray to God you have a remote controller beside Chica because it's going to be so needed. <laughs> now let's all play the Penis Samurai game together. You see, like, you know, she's like, huh? is everyone ready? Then let's go. <laughs> I get raised this is the anime the silence right now she walks in through the door looking Kaguya <laughs> it's time for this piece of piece of right game she walks in like like the face she always gives her like <laughs> <laughs> She's just like, I'm so tired of you. I just can't. And they get, you know, like, <laughs> Miyuki and Ishigami. She's like, Ooh, and then they're like the other things and try not to like act like they're about to partake. And what exactly is going on here? Like, uh, ah, da, da, da. Nothing. We weren't doing anything at all. I've just been working this whole time. Would you want a son? Perhaps you can enlighten me on what you're planning to do in this sacred student council room of ours. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, <laughs> Well, welcome back, Kaguya-san. How does the talk to the Shichu family end up going? Like, wow. Talk about a sudden change of topic. I mean, you know, you're, you're shameless. Absolutely shameless. Don't try to dodge this issue by bringing up something serious. You know, she's about to beat you. <laughs> like, right. About that. Because, like, like, she still has the face on. Negotiations with the Shichu family seem like they wrap, they'll wrap up nicely. So there's no need to worry on that front. Okay, good. Glad to hear it. And now then, now she pulls her in. I'm about to whip your ass. Now then, it seems that I need to have a little chat with Fujiwara son. So if you'll excuse us, I'm innocent. You were trying to do something you can only do without me around, right? Uh, how much did you hear? All of it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's curtains. It's curtains for Fujika. I wasn't sure how I should act after coming back, so I was hesitating outside the whole time. 
But after seeing how all of you are all back to your normal selves, I realize I should just be my normal self too. There we go, man. La Familia back together, though. I mean, so, some very questionable stuff going on for Chica aside, but even so, they're all back together, man. But for not too long, because I look at Miyuki and I know that there's, there's going to be a plane eventually with him on it. I see. Welcome back, Kaguya. Yeah, Oh, the reaction from everybody. Welcome back, Shinomiya Senpai. We've been waiting for you. I thought it would have taken a lot longer. The blush, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Her real family's right here. Fufu. It's good to be back. Oh, man. I love this battle. When you have, like, the bubbles and everything like that, nah, that's goat. That's goat. Oh, love to see it, man. And now, <laughs> it doesn't matter. And now, the Fujiwara saw it's time for a little lecture. You, she really thought she was about to get away with this. Nah, nah, reprimension time. It's time, man. Like, no. And so, Kage returned to Shuichin, and our student council room went back to how it used to be. Look at the smile. She says, ah, it feels good to be home, but I'm still going to whip your ass, Chica. Yet, it's so frustrating. Ah, uh, when joy happens, comes pain. When joy comes, there's pain. Because I'm going to turn this page and this man knows he's going to be leaving soon. I just wish I could enjoy these days just a little bit longer. Look at his face. He knows he wants to stay, but he can't. But before I knew it, the day of my graduation was right around the corner. Heading out to study abroad, what will become of our relationship? The next time preparations continue. Oh my god. I I got the happiness. Now I'm going to get the pain. If it's anything on the level of what Akasaka did to me with the Ishigami and the Tsubame stuff, man, I'm going to be a wreck. And I'm not talking in terms of like, you know, the like the like a breakup or like it's just a rejection, right? But I'm just talking about just purely off the emotional roller coaster that that brought. It's like if it's anything on that level, if not higher, because obviously we've had so many big highs when it comes to those things. But the last thing of graduation that we got to see, I was in the mud. <laughs> Absolutely in the mud when she got me. But I'm assuming here, like obviously when it comes to with Miyuki and Kaguya. It's a matter of them making an assurance that when he leaves, obviously he's going to be going off to America for possibly three to four years. Planning his craft and all that. And becoming the man that needs to be to be by Kaguya's side. Obviously she's going to have her own thing taking care of stuff with the Shinya family, with the Shijos and everything. And to become the woman that she wants to be. And I know she's going to go into the whole photography stuff, which is what I hope is the main thing for her because obviously she wants to be able to be her own person even though she wants to help out and take care of the people that were by her side helping her out along the way within the family she still has her own aspirations she wants to go into that now the other thing i can think of too is that unless kaguya goes with miyuki but even though it was said like they kind of wanted to go on their own paths to get to where they want to be now akazaka could flip that and allow kaguya to go with him to America so she can study into photography and then you know Miyuki does his own thing too as well but I don't know I feel like uh, worst case scenario like Kage stays back in Japan goes on to become like a up and coming photographer 
you know, just being at the right place, right time for like many big events and stuff, you know, of any, anything really when it comes to photography, there's so many things you can go into with sports, with, you know, politics, whatever it may be, so much you can go into it with. But it does feel like the way this is all going to be set up, we're going to get a time skip. Like the time skip, I think, honestly, is going to look very likely to happen. And when it does happen, that's when we know like the end is right literally around the corner. Like we're talking about graduation being right around the corner for Miyuki because obviously going into September by Western uh, school and stuff and everything, it's like that's when like the new term is going to start. Japan's a little bit different. They start up in April. And... It just feels tough, man, to believe that the end is actually coming up. Like, it's it's one of those things where I know I'm going to be more of a wreck when I get the message that says Kagisama has about five chapters to go, three chapters, whatever it is. I'm going to be coping like crazy, knowing that one of my favorite stories is coming to an end. Like, but yeah, man. This is a great chapter. Hilarious. I don't know. <laughs> like, because it looked like we we're really about to go into the game itself and everything for this samurai stuff that uh, Chico's about to do. But luckily, <laughs> the, the person to come in and make sure that it doesn't happen is the one that has a hard time saying Wiener. Okay? If, if y'all watching the anime and stuff, of course, and you're reading the manga for Kagisama, you know she has a difficult time <laughs> with, with those words. So. But it was like one of those things where we got in this chapter, like really just getting like an uplifting, the laughter and stuff have been missing because of all the things that have been going on uh, with the family and everything through the Shinomiyas. But now it's like setting in the fact that we are transitioning into the last parts of the story now. <clears throat> but yo, what a chapter. Like, they're back together, but 263 is potentially going to be like an emotional roller coaster and if not that the next chapter but just basically knowing that when we get the actual graduation moment of kaguya and yuki saying their goodbyes for now until he comes back it's gonna be pain but let me know your thoughts out in the comment section below around this week's chapter kaguya sama let me know how you guys felt about or felt you feel about basically what we just got here in terms of like basically uh, a bereavement, a you know a, a relaxation of the chaos that we were in before, and now transitioning into like emotional damage possibly coming up. Like, do you feel like how long do we have left of the story? If you had to give an estimate right now, based on everything that's transpired, like by the end of summer, does Kagusama come to an end? Do we end the story of Kagusama in the summer? I I still fully stand by it's going to end this year. But if you have to think of how much we still have left to dive into. I know obviously we still have the stuff of Ishigami and Nino to really cement their relationship too as well. And there's so many other factors. We don't know if Chika's going to have her own thing going on. Ayasaka, we don't know if she's going to have her own thing as well. Unless, you know, they get those two together, we don't know. But regarding all like what's left of the story. like If you have to think how much we have left to go on before the end, let me know down in the comments. Anything you want to clarify or uh, add more clarity in regards to the chapter, feel free to do so. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here. If you want to be part of the conclusion of the weekly experience to come. Because I feel like, honestly, the end is really near. And I don't know how many weeks or months we have left. But if you want to be here for this experience, when it comes to my coverage of Kagasama week in and week out, subscribe if you haven't already. Click on the bell of Shandora so that everything goes on the channel. With that being said... I will catch you guys for chapter 263. If it is emotional damage time, I may not have, I may actually have to bring the Bible out. I'm not even kidding. I, I need like all the strength of whatever it is to get, to guide me through the pain that's going to come towards my heart. That's already been in shambles many times reading this series. It's going to be the one where I don't have a heart. I don't have any more tears to shed. That's it's coming. So but then again, I kind of already have it right here, and it's it's Kagisama, so I already have my Bible. It's no worries, all right? But depending on how all this plays out, man, I, I truly feel like right now, this is a top five manga for me, 
ongoing complete whatever it is if these last portions are handled well it's placements like guaranteed i can't unless better stories will come later on and stuff or you know going back on rereads and things could change but i can safely say though right now on the trek that's been on this is in fact akakasaka's masterpiece and there's another series out there that may potentially one day reach the same levels but right now we're joining the first one so Commodore Lad signing off. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, take care. Going crazy, yeah, we going crazy. I'm with the team, yeah, yeah, we going crazy.